I moved out a year ago and since then a large percentage of my life has been spent trying to maintain the illusion that I have my shit together. In that time I have graduated uni and got a job which does help to a certain extent but as I've said before the devil's in the detail. So, from the terrifying part of my brain that brought you how to convince people you're in a relationship without actually lying largely through the use of social media, I give unto the world 11 things to keep in your fridge that make it look like you have your shit together. Number one, San Pellegrino. In my opinion, we're starting with the most important one. Even if you have nothing in your fridge other than three bottles of San Pellegrino, you're gonna look like you know what you're doing. However, this is obviously only true if they're glass bottles. If you thought, for even a second, that we were talking about plastic, then this is not the place for you. Number two, camembert. Honestly, any kind of non-block cheese. Bocconcini works fine, as well as maybe a nice halloumi. Feta can also be a good option, but it depends entirely on what you decide to put it on or in. People with their shit together have an abundance of cheeses at their beck and call. Number three, fresh berries. You'll soon realize that freshness is key here because it shows that you're capable of maintaining a rotation of foods as opposed to just thawing something when you think of it. Strawberries are what I would call a base berry, which means they're fine, but they won't be quite as effective as blueberries or raspberries, which are a step below blackberries. Truth be told, any berry will work, but the longer it's been since the person that you're offering them to has had them, the better. Like how back in the day people in portraits held pineapples because pineapples were hard to get hold of so they signified wealth and worldliness. Like that, but with berries. Number four, Greek yogurt. Nothing wrong with a little bit of yogurt, but it's not gonna be turning any heads. This is pretty basic, yes, but nonetheless, a staple for the breakfast needs of any well-rounded individual. Number five, olives. The key here is to think of Mediterranean appetizers. You're gonna want a container of fresh deli olives as opposed to the kind you'd get in a jar. Think of what you'd get in Greece as opposed to what you'd find on top of some dominoes. Number six, citrus. You don't really need to keep this in your fridge but we'll let it slide. Get some lemons, get some limes, chuck them in a bowl so that A, everyone can see how much citrus you have and B, you don't forget that you have them. For bonus points, add slices of lemon to your iced water when you have people over and they'll be like, wow, you sure do think of everything. You must really have your shit together. Number seven, juice ingredients. Everybody knows you can't keep fresh juice in your fridge for more than a few hours before it goes weird, so you need to have the ingredients. In this day and age, a green juice is a symbol not only of you being prepared to do regular grocery shopping, but also of the fact that you are healthy as heck. Never mind the fact that you have a fridge full of fattening cheeses. The green juice cancels that out. Number eight, mint. If you have mint, you can make mojitos. If you have mint, you can make pims. If you have mint, you can make a minty green juice. And most importantly, if you have mint, it means that you're the kind of person who thinks of and remembers to buy mint. Herbs in general are a solid move. Even better if you've actually got them growing in plant form, but to be honest, that takes a level of commitment to maintenance that we're not quite about yet. Number nine, puff pastry. Technically, you should probably be keeping this one in the freezer, but it's the application that counts. Unlike the other items here, the key with this one is not for people to know that you have it, but for them to see that you have used it. Wrap it around some camembert before you put it in the oven, bake it by itself with some milk, sugar, and cinnamon on top, or create an artsy ass pastry by dumping some fruit on there. Go nuts. You've got a world of possibilities. What's important here is that puff pastry looks fancy as hell and requires absolutely no skill whatsoever. Number 10, fresh pasta. Who has fresh pasta? Italians, the very rich, probably my dad. People with their shit together. When normal pasta from a packet is absolutely fine, Opting for an unnecessarily perishable alternative acts as a display of confidence in your own ability to efficiently plan meals, as well as showing an appreciation for the finer things in life. Like linguine that will be absolutely useless a week from now. And this brings us to the grand finale. Number 11, pate. It's got two accents in a four letter word and there's a 50% chance you find it disgusting. Jackpot. Add some pate to your cheese tray and rock it from helpless to housefrau in no time. The ultimate display of domesticity and opulence. Goosey, livery, opulence.